What is up guys and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 video. This will be my final attribute update. Nothing has changed. This is my final character. I'm almost done with my career. I just got to get flashy passer, bruiser, and hustle rebounder, which I think is the hardest badge in the game. It's very hard being a shooting guard trying to get rebounds even though I can. It's just offensive rebounds is very annoying. But um, we do have my final build of the game. We are a 98 overall shooting guard slash. I made him 6'8", and I just love this build so much. We have everything maxed out apart from the three ball and the post scorn. But when you hit superstar one, you get two attributes. So I might put it on post scorn instead of three ball because I can hit corner specialist threes. That's also another badge I got to get. If I get corner specialist, I'll probably touch three ball. But, um... You get 10 from getting superstar in my part, which I probably won't, but you never know. Uh, so I'll be able to max out this and probably get this up to four. And it just sucks you can't max out every stat like I thought you could when the game first came out. I thought you could boost up everything, but you can't. You really have to be strategic uh, with what you place to get you to this high of an overall. Um, some people are struggling. They say they were cut off at 95. I, all I did honestly was play on Hall of Fame, get your badges, get your badges on Hall of Fame, and then um, when you're doing live practice, do not just do vertical jumps. You got to do all sorts of things. Like I did, I pretty much do every single last exercise, uh, every single practice. It's a grind, but if you want to get that high overall, this is what you got to do. Um, this is my shooting off dribble. This is my layup and dunks. Actually, we can just go to the uh, my career right here, and I'll show you right here. Uh, so we're a slasher. We're 6'8", 240 pounds. Um, we, cap, we, we specialize in layups and dunks, shooting off dribble, and rebounding. We have a total of 32 badges, which is Slasher Pro, which is the Grand Badge. We have the Game Point, which is a Park Badge, Acrobat Hall of Fame, Relentless Hall of Fame, Teardropper Hall of Fame, Dream Up and Under, Drop Stepper, Post Spin, Put Back King, Catch and Shoot, Deep Range Dead Eye, Difficult Shots, Mid Range Dead Eye, Ankle Breaker, Working on Tyler Score, Break Starter, Di I got Dimer before I got Tyler Score. That's how long it takes to get that badge. Lob City Passer, Pick and Roll Maestro, uh, chase down artist, defensive stopper, pick dodger, pick pocket, rim protector, one man fast break hall of fame, posterizer hall of fame, lob city finisher hall of fame, and some personality badges, alpha dog, enforcer, expressive microwave, on court coach, and spark plug. Um, so just a few more badges we got to get. We had second pick, first round. Um, so we're pretty much done with my career. I just got to get those, what, three or four more badges, and we're good to go. Uh, then the rest is just park badges. Um, here's the stats right here, if you guys are wondering. Um, where is it at? Right here. These are all of my stats. Um, open mid-range 74. So I actually can shoot, believe it or not. I really can shoot uh, shoot mid-ranges, especially when I'm playing with uh, Reezy. As you guys know, he's a point four, so he has Dimer on Hall of Fame. And my, with my hot zones, uh, I actually can green light consistently with uh 74 mid-range which is really good so i'm not just getting layups and dunks um so that's always 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 good i just love this build man like look at this right here look at the layup like 91 91 and a 92 contact like this in park and even in my career like it's the in pro-am especially pro-am just so dominant it's just so good we got a 75 ball control which isn't bad isn't, I mean, this, this is not a bad build, like, at all. Like, look at this rebound. 72? Are you kidding me? We just grabbed, we literally grabbed so many boards. That's why I'm honestly trying to get this hustle rebounder. I'm trying to get it so bad, but it's just so annoying to get offensive rebounds, um, especially on 12-minute quarters. I only got five offensive rebounds throughout 12-minute quarters on four different quarters. It's really annoying, but... I'm trying, man. I don't know how to boost up offensive consistency, but the only thing I really need to get is this to 99, which I'm working on it. But other than that, this is a really solid build. Don't mind the speed too much because I, I'm mainly the one that's the playing point guard. I usually run with the center, and Reezy's a small forward, so I have to play uh, the point guard position. So I can keep up fairly with it, especially with defensive stopper. Can really do good. Um... And these are just some insane stats. Like, 
I love this build so much. This build is just so perfect. It, it fits my play style the most. Like, look at that. That is insane. I'm basically sacrificing my three ball to do layup, dunks, get rebounds, get assists. You know, there's so much stuff you could do with this build. It's so versatile that it's one it's one of the, my my favorite builds I ever made. Even even from the older days in like 2K14, 13, 11, and 2K10. This is like one of my favorite builds. Um, I just love this build so much. Uh, if you guys want to see what I'm rocking with in terms of, I have a custom jump shot from 2K14. It's my 2K14 jump shot, and here's all the um, all my signature styles. I guess uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. You guys can see this. I mean, it's just all the stuff that I had since what 2K what 14 on the PS3 version. I, I mean, I, I don't really change up too much stuff. I'm just rocking Kobe's dunk. Uh, here's a 6,000. It's the first dunk. So I was saying, I mean, Kobe was on the case, right? So you have to think his jump shot and his dunk package is, uh, is really good. Haven't really gotten blocked too much with this. And the contact dunks is just crazy. I actually do uh, like some dunk packs. I recommend it. I was trying to get Jordans. I almost have enough. But Kobe doesn't have any cockback animation. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's very nice. We're running. Um, we got all the con. It says four, but I can't. I can't get anything with this one, but these are all the contact dunks. Just insane. Just destroying. Look at Denver. I think that's Denver right there. Yeah, that is Denver. <laughs> Sorry to do it to you, buddy. But, uh, yeah, we got all of that. And if you guys want to see the dribble moves, I really don't care. Like I said, these are all the dribble moves that I run with. I don't really do this anyway because I don't have that much ball control. Now, these probably would be much more powerful if I, had, uh, if I was a playmaker or something. But that's pretty much it. Um, this is the 6-8 build. I maxed out his wingspan. I maxed out his weight. Maxed out his shoulder width. Maxed out everything. And I just want to destroy it with the man. We're currently running the, uh, what is this? These are the sixes that I have in real life. Instead of having an icy blue bottom, I just gave the, uh, yellow bottom. They're making a lot of, he's making a lot of noise down there. But, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future. Uh, this probably is my very last build. I just got to get those badges and then I'm done with my career until 2K18 comes out. So hopefully you guys can enjoy nonetheless. I will catch you guys later. This is the 6-8 Beast. We got some park gameplay saved up on the PlayStation. So be looking forward to that. Catch you guys later. Peace out.